Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me on my first ever stream on Twitch.tv. My name is Kai, otherwise known as Bambo, and today we're going to be playing some Metal Gear. Hello guys. Live on Twitch. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to sort this out and let everyone know exactly what's going on. I'm going to be speedrunning Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. Uh, I will have to be emulating because I have not got any connector adapters. However, I do a legal copy of the game. Smashing. I'll be running it on very easy. And I've got a timer above, which is all smashing. Dabidir. With this kind of speed run, um, I've set myself some certain targets. I need to be able to be at the torch scene within about 15 minutes which is going to involve a lot of uh, skipping in the game. But we will, we will smash through it. So, let's just uh, load up Metal Gear, shall we? Uh. Run CD-ROM. Go. That's a good sign. <laughs> There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> I was kind of worried that it wasn't actually going to work for a second there. Okay. How I'm going to do this run then, okay? It's going to be on very easy. I'm not worried about alerts. I'm not worried about deaths. I'm on about reaching the end where Liquid Snake crashes. The timer will start as soon as the, uh, the song from the intro um, starting the game starts and I will stop the timer as soon as the the part where it is at the end snake look out we're gonna crash that is the end point where I'm gonna finish the stream well finish the timer we'll see where I'm hopefully it's under two hours ah this is cracking get on some Metal Gear it's an absolutely amazing game ha 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 So to confirm, as soon as I hit easy and as soon as I hit the, I will hit the timer. I can activate the timer to do this. Technical difficulties. Timer. Fantastic. The timer works. We also actually managed to get everything working all together at the same time. I say that and my mouse disappears. Where are you going, mouse? There we go. Oh, crap. This is hiding on the screen. Okay, so, quick swig. Let's have a good run. <laughs> Press the wrong button. That was a great start. Now. Okay, so the brilliant thing about the, uh, the docks themselves is we're not exactly under a timer here. We can uh, play around with the guards. We can do what the hell we want, quite frankly. Hi. Hi. Uh, to be completely honest, what I'm fully intending to do is I'm just going to kill them because I could really do with you know having those extra rations. And the thing about the rations themselves... Oh, I wonder. Actually, you know what? You know what? I wonder. I'm here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, great. Thanks for the alert. And essentially, all I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for this guard to come down. No. I know we need to wait for the lift. Got that. Thanks. 
So there's two parts which uh, I'm going to need rations for, and they are to produce a glitch found in the game that will allow you to make your weapon appear in to be something else. And that's going to be used in two areas. One in the tower, communication tower, and the other one is the fight against Sniper Wolf. Because ain't nobody got time to, you know, <laughs> fight bosses, you know? That's it, really. I'll make most of this run off um, Slade from Video Games Done Fast. Just did a few streams, and uh, it was really good. It was really good. I haven't really got much to say at this point, because there's got nothing really to explain. I'm waiting for the guard to come down. Speed run. <laughs> I'll just sit back and enjoy. The record for fastest run is actually on extreme. I thank you, God, for these finally down on extreme and uh, it's like one hour, eight minutes, something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to wait to us a certain point. Up too early. Missed. Shit. Do you know what? Do you know what? Screw him. You. Um, what I actually intended to do was intend to actually knock on the wall and actually have him walk across, but it, it didn't really work. So yeah, the, the actual world record is like one minute, eight minutes, one hour, eight minutes, uh, two hours, considering it's my first attempt to do the speed run. I think it's a realistic goal. At least I like to think it is. There's only two fairly decent jumps in the game. Uh, certain things I will have to pick up. Um, They're all weak. Yeah, I kind of get that. Probably shocked things is that you won't need all of the weapons in the game. There is like absolutely no reason to have a uh, SOCOM. There's no reason to have a FAMAS. Any the other weapons we're not even going to think about needing. I actually can't think of it. I think that's it. Oh, shh. Okay. So the first thing we do is we're going to get the chaff grenades. Now, we're going to spot the alarms. Who cares? Bye, guard. Yeah, thanks. Woo! Not really worried about our life at this point. So we're just going to go straight through the ducks. It was just important that we picked up the grenades. Now, they do actually throw grenades into the uh, ducks, but because... We've already uh, phased off into another area. We don't need to worry about them anymore. We just need to follow the rats. Yes, thanks, Miller. Sorry, did I say Miller? Epic plot twist, it's not Master Miller. <gasps> Spoiler alert. Anybody worth their soul has actually played this game. More than likely, if you're actually watching this right now, you're probably a Metal Gear fan anyway, so you probably knew that. Ah, so just crawling. Crawling. Still crawling. Still crawling. Is it the first one or is it the second one? Yeah, it's the second one. This is the faster route. If you uh, go up the top, we're not going to need the uh, we're not going to need the thermal goggles or anything like that. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm just going to throw that over there. Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. Screwed up the run already. Uh, it's going to make me do the vents again. Oh, that's convenient. By the looks of it, I'm not even going to need the uh, 
I'm not even gonna need the chaff. That's convenient, at least. Uh, you're gonna see me running around with the chaff grenade quite a lot because um, it actually turns out that in terms of the animation, it's a faster run speed. You'll be able to see that when we uh, go downstairs in the communication tower later. So, uh, most people have got this there. We're not actually going to go to uh, the uh, stairs like that. We're going to uh, just kind of bypass, slightly bypass the uh, <laughs> scene with the Meryl. As you can look in the radar in the top corner, you can actually see exactly where I am. I am in the uh, torture room right now. Uh, if we get ourselves to this position right here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's uh <laughs> Looks like I see we're just waiting around right now. We've just got trying to think of how many uh bosses that we just skipped. That's Volver Ocelot. That's Vulcan Raven in the tank. Uh, um who else is that? So we're on the, on the bed now. Um, yeah, Brother Ocelot, we've skipped the tank, we've skipped Psycho Mantis, we've skipped Sniper Wolf, Grey Fox. <laughs> Five bosses in under eight minutes. I don't, I don't think that's bad at all. Of course, we can't actually do anything at this point here, so we're kind of just playing around. There we go. Who's Meryl? I have no clue who Meryl is. Okay, so we're just skipping. Still skipping. Uh, in terms of uh, stuff that we're going to have to do now, um, because we're this far in the game, we obviously we haven't got as many health, as much health, much English. Ah, I missed did it. See, we haven't got much health at the minute. Ah. So I need to make sure I pick up the PSG one. Now, when we pick up the PSG one, it's not actually going to allow me to use it because I haven't killed the required amount of bosses. But it will be in the inventory, it'll have no ammo, etc. There's a few other items I need to make sure I pick up. I need to pick up Shaf, the Nikita, and Stun Grenades. The Nikita will only use for Raven in the, uh, in his minigun. The Stun Grenades we can use primarily for the communication tower, I know you have a huge, decent supply of uh, stun grenades. So what I will be doing after we escape from the torture scene, which naturally we're going to do as fast as possible, we're going to submit straight away to the torture. We're going to lose Meryl, save Archon, but hey ho. Oh shut up Johnny. So what I'll do is I'll go around the armory and I'll pick up as much as I can as quickly as I can, get out, we'll head through the minefield. We're gonna go into B2? B1. I can't remember what the actual <laughs> ground is called. We'll go through that and then deal with the wolves. The wolves are the only part of them there. Go straight across to the communication tower. We're going to start that early, get that up. The first boss that we will fight will be Vulcan Raven. Snake. This runs perfectly right. I'm going to skip more cutscenes. Just cut smash like square and X straight away as soon as anything happens. Because we don't want any of these cinematics coming up. There we go, you, you win. You win. Had enough. Yep. Can't. Oh, no, no, not doing that Just refusing. The torture will stop as I promised. 
but I'll take, take the, the woman in return. I'll have my fun with her before I kill her. Yeah. I hope you can still look at yourself in the mirror, my friend. Got it. Yeah, I could take myself in the mirror. Items! Fantastic. So once again, we've got to wait around in the uh, cell room because we can't do anything else. Not okay. Damn, I got a cold. That witch, she took my clothes. I'm making uh, two saves in my room, by the way. Uh, communication tower and the ice field. That is simply because when I end up doing the weapon glitch, I'm going to have to, you know, use a ration. It's got me my last ration. And if I screw up, I'm going to have to reset. Which is where I will lose all my time. I don't want to be losing all the time. So let's wait for him to bugger off, and then we shall get Otacon to come save us. Of course, we need to start the cinematic as soon as possible, so cover their face in the door, so as soon as he comes in, he says, it's, it's me. I'm here. Where? <clears throat> I'm right at the cinematic. We're not going to have to run to anything. We'll start straight away. <sighs> there we go. Pressed a bit too quickly. Wait. Okay, so once again, we're going to try and get ourselves in the best possible position. So, about ah, too far, too far. And then we'll equip the card so we can go and we can just run. I know, door cut me in half. It's your cells are just not very well built. That was easy. Of course, in the um, the remake, you can only knock him out. But at that point, he is given a name. Um, Johnny Sasaki. People do actually know who he is, and of course, he can't die. He's going to be a Metal Gear Solid Four. Okay, and I'm going to the grenades. We get a bit faster. Turret's got nothing on me. <sighs> so we just got these cameras. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I find the thing that if you double press it, it actually activates the elevator straight away. It's very handy for a speed run. Beep. So the first port of call is we're going to go get our sniper rifle. Crouch down very too slowly there. People who have played this game in the past know exactly where the lasers are, so we're not going to worry about any of the uh, cameras. Where are you going? I'm going this way. Okay, so we're just going to see if we can get yourself some chaff, some grenades, anything of that sort. Grenades, that's fantastic. Where are you going? Come on, please move. Thank you very much. Watching that radar like a hawk. Socom, don't need the Socom, but hey ho. Uh, it's with the Famas, so we're not going to bother with the Famas. Get out of the way. What's in here? C4, useful. Okay, he's knocked out. Oh, uh, that was not good. That's not good. That is not good. I 
he's not going very well. No, I wasted it over a famous. <laughs> of course it's not. Of course I'm not okay. I wasted the time over a bloody famous. So, in. Come. You notice that um, by unequipping and equipping items, you can also cancel the uh, animation cancel, the throw. They're still going in the air, so you can still run around. Which is just another thing. S shave a few seconds. In speed run. Where are you going? Oh, piss off. More time lost. It's meant to go to ground one. It's the problem with speedruns. Um, you need to memorise the run. I have had one attempt at doing some of the tricks, and yeah, well, I wasn't exactly going to call it a uh, a flawless food uh, food run, speed run, in the slightest. It was just it was just bad. So uh, we've got the the minefield. The minefield is going to be fun. So we can go to the side. Couldn't remember where that one was. So we're gonna go along here. Around the tank. There you go. We beat the tank! Look at that! Whew. Fantastic. We go into here. We've got the codec call about them disabling our uh, our weapons. Yeah, I know we kind of put this a bit out of sync at the minute, but doesn't really matter. Let's whip the shaft grenade. Okay, so he shouldn't be able to actually reach us by the time the uh, lift comes down. I think it's B1. I'm sure it's B1. Yes! Okay, so we need to do this pretty quickly. Because that guard comes round fairly fast. Oh! Just clip through the wall casually. Go away. Okay, so that's the main things we need. We need stun grenades, we need the uh, chaff grenades, and we need Nikita. Almost paramount to our uh, this run. Oh, look, we beat Mantis. How quick was that? Absolute sir. Not going to bother with any of the pickups here because, quite frankly, we're not going to need them. Next is the wolves. The wolves is going to be a bit more complex because um, it's a little bit more unpredictable. But uh, what we are going to do is we're going to use the same uh, trick we did in the things. Just talking about that. That just gets us past that bit for a second. Punch. Meant to just punch the wolf. Ah, now the issue with um, doing it this way is because we skipped it, we've kind of lost some of the uh, assets. Punch the wolf. Yeah, we've lost some of the uh, assets for it. I've gone the wrong way. That's not good. 
So we need to go a bit further along. Is it there? No, it's not there. This bit is really hit and miss for me because I haven't learned exactly where this thing is yet. It's around here somewhere. Yes! Found it at last. If I was really trying to do a really good speed run with it, I would have learned where that was. <laughs> okay, so obviously this is where um, we fought Sniper Wolf. I wonder whose blood that is. You know, it's, it's never told in the story. It's just, just there. Campbell gets a little bit emotional, but I ain't got a clue why. I suppose he's got some family matters that he wants to tell us about. Maybe he's got a daughter. Maybe she's going through a tough time. Maybe she's joined the army. Maybe she's gotten shot in the line of duty, you know. Maybe someone set their sights on her and... She didn't turn out very well in the end, but I don't know. Okay, so we'll just casually run up. How are you? How was the family? They good? Good. Okay. And we're through there. Okay, we're now into the communication tower, less than 25 minutes, which is fairly decent. Could be a lot better, to be fair. Uh, so what we can do is we're going to jump to the stun. Did that too early. You do this right. You should set off the uh, alarm. There we go. Fantastic. That actually worked. Okay, so I'm just going to run on the stun grenade because these are going to be more useful than anything else right now. So many guards around. <laughs> you see, see uh, that was a bit of the animation cancel. Uh, so we're going to throw some grenade here. We start shooting across the room. They should be knocked out. The stun grenade in this game has got a really huge, really, oh sh! Has got a really huge um, area of effect. As you can see there, it's knocked people out really far away, which is really, really convenient. So that's all it's gonna do. And just be casual as fuck as about it. We should be getting near the top of the stairs by now. I think that's it. And... One more guard. Damn it! I've always seemed to have a problem with those stairs. Ah. Well, to be fair, we're going to have um, one more stun grenade to try that again. And the extra stun grenade is going to help so much. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Once more up the steps. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. The problem is with this situation is it's very useful to actually, um, know where you're going to be throwing these stun grenades. However, I still haven't learned exactly where to throw them. Which doesn't exactly help. Here's the animation cancel. 
Um, it's the next one. Yep, so we're going to throw a stun grenade here. We'll take out the guy behind us. Go to sleep. I, for some reason, I decided I was in a wall press. Damn, that means I'm slow. Honestly, the actual area effect that these things have is insane. So now I've got the extra stun grenade, that's going to help me no wonders. So just run straight past these guys. Uh, so there should be one guy around here. You're an asshole, sir. Ah! Let me use this now. Who else is going to come down the corner in a second now? Take him out. That should be it. So I should be free to go. As long as they don't get any straight uh, angles at me, I should be able to just get straight onto the ladder. Ah! That kills the thumb. It really does. Especially when you're playing on a D-pad. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to have to have one of these rations now because, uh, yeah. I'm not very good at dodging the air bullets from behind. <laughs> I never have been. So, uh... Hey, at least to stay honest about myself. Okay, so now I've seen that the uh, general idea behind this one is needing to go from the right, jump all the way down to the left. I, uh, I tested it out previously and it didn't seem to work as well as I thought it would. We'll see how it goes this time. Maybe we'll just lucky with a uh, steam. into the gunfire. So it's down and then left. Ah, move! Bloody... Oh, okay, still won't get shot. Which actually, to be fair, it's going to help me because I need to uh, get my health to the point where I'm going to be able to use my ration. And that's that done. Now, okay, we're going to have to deal with the guards across the uh, the hallway, runway there. And as uh, you know, as know, we haven't exactly... Oh, we actually do have enough of the PSG-1 now. We've got C4, but I prefer to use a stun grenade. Because we, as we've uh, just noticed, the, uh, the area effect is actually pretty far. I really could have been running out and further than that. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to die. Because that's not going to help me out at any point here. So we're not really worried about the continues. Uh, the other option I can do here is just launch one of these off. <laughs> Let's try that again.
Killing me here, Snake. I'm trying to remember how I did it last time. How did I do it last time? So I was sure it was just, I threw a stun grenade. Ah, oh, so we'll just we'll, uh, we'll pick up the rash and we'll just smash through it this way. <laughs> Bit cheeky, but hey ho, it'll work. Power through it. No, no, we won't go. Hey, another Russian. Okay, so what's happened there is we still haven't killed enough bosses to actually uh, pick up the stinger. Which is a bugger. Okay. This is actually where I'm going to make a save. Because this is where this run can... And more than likely will screw up. So I'm just going to start it straight on the power way to now. Yes. Thank you very much, Mei Ling. So what we need to do is we need to start initiate the uh, sequence in which they realise that we can't actually go any further down. Come on. Let me just check my health. I've actually got a lot of health. That's not actually a very good sign at all. So, um, what we're going to do instead. So we're going to plant some C4 down. This is where it gets really bad, okay? I know you're probably cringing right now, but this is, some, this is just how it works. So I'm using grenades. Hopefully, didn't work. Damn. That's not a good sign. Because now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to kill myself. Unfortunately, we've made the save, so we will start in the actual communication tower itself. We will be able to go straight down and uh, get to where we were. As you can tell, but people who have um, been doing speedruns, I mean, this game is really old at this point. Um, we'll know exactly how to start these uh, glitches. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to trick the game into thinking that the item that I've got held is a uh, is a stinger. I know, witchcraft. Damn. So we're gonna bring back our old C4. 
We're gonna have to blow ourselves up initially because we haven't we've got too much health. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do is gonna get chaff equipped. That work? Didn't work, we'll have to grenade it. I've uh, found in my experience of trying to do this glitch that um, it always seems to be that uh, it's your last ration that actually causes you to uh, start this glitch. I hope that wasn't going to be the case because I could really do with holding on to the, that ration for a little bit longer. So I got to kill ourselves again. Fortunately, I have a lot of grenades. There's that. The other issue is that I'll have to do this glitch twice to finish this run. Considering that I am really, uh, I genuinely feel like I'm behind right now. It's not a good sign, really. Wait, to be fair, yeah, I am emulating it. I could actually just create a uh, safe state where I am. Wouldn't exactly feel like a proper official run if I did that. C4 down, let's kill ourselves. Wow, that sounds very bad. I oh, seem to have pretty, uh, pretty good luck um, starting off the, the glitch uh, by using grenades. Let's try the grenade. by this point. Yep. Still need work the ins and outs of these glitches. So throw me every single time. Get weapon first. I don't want that weapon. Who wants a SOCOM? <sighs> Honestly, when I get this glitch working, it'll be like the most wonderful thing in the world. It's gonna be fantastic. Damn. Okay, so let's reduce our health.
thing is I gotta do this glitch twice. how tempted I am to save state it just to make this run faster. <laughs> and just hear him stop saying damn. So what we're actually trying to do is we need to get the, when you angle it down, you need to hold triangle. Um, when you take the ration, you have to hold triangle, it's going to first person view, and we're trying to get the lowest point. As, as for why this causes the glitch, to be honest, I don't know. But that's what we're looking for. Once we get to that point, we're meant to let go and hold to keep on holding triangle whilst holding the shoulders. That way, in theory, that was the lowest point. It should. No. Right, okay, guys, I'm going to safe stay here because this is going to be upsetting if it carries off. They didn't go off. That's bullshit technology there. Ha! <laughs> Excuse me. Try on top of that one, take a good chunk of health. Oh, I forgot to pick up a ration. That would have been bad. So, one more. Yep, stand on top of the ration snake. Okay, Metal Gear, if you could do the glitch this time, I would be so happy. Nope. Ah. Back to where I was. Bit cheeky. It's the same end. Actually, thinking about it logically, I reckon I do know what I'm doing wrong. We'll soon see, though. We'll soon see. I finally 
got it to work. Okay, so we're now running around with a stinger. <laughs> so what this, this is actually going to do is um, it's going to help us get past a few sections there. First of all, it now thinks that we have the stinger, which we don't because we couldn't exactly equip it. Ah, oh, shit. Um, let's wait for that to go off. No, okay. Okay, I'm going to hold that in my hand. Okay, this is going to uh, actually start. Help us skip the cutscene. And the boxes are gone. I know, right? How awesome is that? Okay, but we do have to now deal with with cameras. Yeah. So we'll do it every three. So we'll put one there. So we're gonna need one at the top of here to go off now. Okay, maybe we need to do it a little bit early next time. So one. Two. The third one. Just chuck that down this yeah, do you want right down the bottom, why not? Still does the job. One. Two. Three. Chuck it down. Yep, yeah, that's good snake. Master of uh, espionage and all that jazz. One. Two. Three. I can't remember, is there another one? I'll just do it to be safe. I don't think there is, no. Okay, we may have wasted the shaft, mate. But uh, if we go around, I'm sure there's more. I think there's some more. Yes, that's exactly what I needed right now. So I know we can probably do... Uh, we can probably do two going down. I've realised I've screwed up. So we're going to go back to here. It's going to add more time to my run. But uh, that's what the safe state is for. The safe state is a brilliant technology. Okay, now we've got the stinger. What we're going to have to do is... Um, it thinks that we have these shaft grenades. We need to go back... I don't know what I was right in the first place. I've just casually as hell just added time to my uh, run. That's all I've done. So uh, let's uh, deal with this. Come on. There we go. So I've taken damage, and what that does is it resets the glitch. So one, two, three. It resets the glitch, so it basically puts your weapon back to how it was. You've got a normal working weapon now. I still can't actually use the stinger because I haven't killed enough bosses. But to be fair, the high MD is only the sixth boss, I want to say. So you should be able to kill it after five bosses. And we've already activated the tank. We've activated Psycho Mantis, we've activated... Uh, who else did we activate? We haven't activated Warps, we've only got two. Can't remember for the life of me. I really should have done more back logging, I've actually had knowledge of this game. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to bother that ration. Actually, I'm not going to bother that ration. Yeah, I better do it. I'll hold that on for the uh, sniper wolf section. Because I said I'm going to have to do that 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 trick again. Well, there we go. Now what's going to happen this time is we've reset the map. So we've got... If we go back down, we reset the map. So now it thinks that... We're on the second part of the uh, second layout with the first part's textures. 
it's like split it so it's before and after the hind fight stuck together. Which, to be fair, is pretty cool. Right, so we're going to start running off our chaff grenades. That's going to help with those. So one. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. See if we can do something a bit fancy with this last one. One, two, three. Didn't work. Oh, well, we'll just dodge it because I could really do with my health coming down, to be honest. Okay, you notice that the boxes are now in the way. <laughs> so we're going to try and get on top of the boxes. So we just need a bit of a hit and miss moment to be at this point. But eventually we will end up on top of the boxes. So what I'm going to do is equip the uh, shaft grenade so we can get a bit more of a faster run. This is exactly what happened. You know, this is this is exactly the right part. You know, entirely to what is meant to be happening right now. So I'm just going to try and line ourselves up a bit more. Uh, I watched Slade do this on um, video games done quick, summer games done quick, and he just did this first time. God knows how. Oh, sh I went over too fast. Kind of have to kill myself. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be coming down. We'll be in the same situation. Hopefully. Yes. So once again, we've got Com Tower B's layout with uh, the first one round, but it's obviously at the top. Two, rare, bomb, one, <laughs> two, three, bomb. Oh, I hope you guys are enjoying this because <laughs> I'm just running up and down stairs at the minute. Let's see if we can actually get it. One. Two. Three. God, let's see. Let's come on. Let's get this camera. Yeah! <laughs> Don't ever ask me to do that again. That was, <laughs> that, was, that was nails. Okay, let's see if we can get on these boxes without falling off the other side. Come yeah, on. Come on, Snakey Poo. On top of the boxes. Ah. 
can just get on the boxes. And not run over them this time, because that was quite annoying, to be fair. If only this was real life, Snake. Just climb the boxes. Oh my god, it's like the worst like secret agent ever. <sighs> That's the problem with this glitch. That time you saw me run over it, it was like the second time I've ever managed it. Oh my god. Just get on the damn bloody box. I'm going to murder somebody. Oh my god. Like like, oh my god, why isn't this, this should be straight up. I could have probably done this legit way. And still made quicker. Snake, if you don't get on the boxes, I'm going to get your brother. No, not the one that's in this game. No, nope. okay. What about your dad? No? Eva? No? Meryl's alive? No, okay, I didn't think that was going to work. Just get on the fucking box. I think I have to have a moment to myself to so deal with stress once I've actually done this part. Yeah, that's the issue. The fact is that I've already managed to do it and I ran straight over the damn box. Ah, oh, what do you get on the box? What if I just do it in circles? Maybe he'll just decide randomly that, you know what, this is going to be the one. Snake, do me a favour. Just get on the box. It's not difficult. You put an arm up. You put a leg up. And you climb. A toddler can do it. My nephew could probably do it. Just get on the box. 
I must have been doing this about five minutes straight now. Probably longer. I'm going to need so much nicotine in my system when this is done. Snake, seriously. It's real. It's there. Climb on it. Maybe I'll just like do this. Maybe I'll just uh, hop on and not jump off the other side. Yes! 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 Ah! Ah! Yes! Wanker! Bastard! Anything I can think of. Here you go. We skip the high, uh, the hind. It probably would have been quicker to actually. Uh... Oh, shh! I did not want to get that. I did not want to pick that up. Right. What I'm probably going to do, because I need to reduce my health now, is uh, I'm just going to stand in front of this turret and get shot. That seems like a good. That's, that's, that seems good. So let's uh, shaft this thing. And let's uh, go have a meeting with uh, Snipey. Old Wolfie. No, not my Wolfie. The Wolfie that's out there. Onward. One minute, five seconds. I'm going to go up to this too. It's not actually a very good time, to, if I'm honest with you. Oh, okay, so there's Wolf. Skip the card at scene. Yes, yes, love on the battlefield. Don't kill her, but I have to kill her. No, she's going to kill me, so I'm going to kill her. Uh, in fact, if I have my way, no one's going to kill anyone. Yes, that's a thing. Okay, Wolfie. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send a call over to Melee. And I'm going to get saved. Because, uh, yes, I'm fine. Just save my damn save file. Please. Thank you. I don't need any, any kind of motivation. Thanks, Wolf. I could, actu I could actually use that. Thanks, actually. All right. If this works first time. No, it did not. <laughs> it, it, it did not. So uh, we're going to have to kill ourselves. Which, you know, is turning out to be like a normal thing that happens in my, my playthroughs. Bam, 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 bam. So are we actually start the fight? No. Great. Oh my god. I have a good feeling that this is going to be longer than two hours at this rate. Yeah. Uh, skip all that. Skip all that. Yeah, yeah, cheers, yeah. Love with the battlefield and all that. Fucking bollocks. Just fucking stop the conversation. I'm glad you're having a whale of a time, Miss Wolf. In fact, I'm surprised I even know who you are because no one's mentioned you yet. Okie dokie. So, we'll pay this now. Actually, yeah, I remember what caused the issue. Right, so let's uh, get this down. Ration. Does. It's 
just, 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 no, just no, just, just, just no. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, kill myself. Actually, I'm just gonna run forward and let the auto thing kill me. Because you deserve the kill, Miss Wolf. You deserve the kill. Because I can't seem to handle any explosives. And I definitely can't seem to glitch through life. Which sucks, really. So, what I'll probably do is uh, I'll do the air hold save state thing again. Hopefully, I won't have to abuse it that much. But it does mean that. Oh, crud. Now we're gonna have to walk through this again! Yay! Skip the damn scene! Please. Just no more. No more codec. No codec, you go sit on one. Thank you! Okay. I have no idea what happened there, but let's save Loaf from the State. I reckon she might have actually uh, shot me as I was, you know, having a little moment to myself there. Victory is mine! <laughs> Jeez. Like the fourth time. The fourth time. Oh, that's magic. Okay. Now, normally at this point, um, you would go straight on and load this too. However, I am not going to do that. I am going to head south and pick up the stinger. The reason is because we missed, the st um, because we had to do the weapon glitch, we have missed said stinger. And I can't leave a stinger. Stinger kind of is uh, a little bit important, right? Okay, so the camera should be facing that way, so I should be able to just run down this section here. Boom. Brilliant. That's still out, champion. Oh, it's already here. Okay, uh... Sit on one. Go to number nine. Now the, uh... It's not going to take me long to get to Rex from here. By the way it's, it's seeming to go, we are just going to exceed the uh, two hours, which is a bit of shitter, really. But it shouldn't be by long. Okay, so the stinger is just in this hallway. We just need to reactivate it. I'll double check and make sure we actually still have it. So, stinger. Yep, we have the stinger. Now, we can't actually use it until we kill one more boss. And that victim is going to be a Vulcan Raven. So, it does mean, however, that we're going to have to use alternative means to uh, kill Raven. Um... Raven being the only boss, only boss, that we're actually intending on fighting today. It should be fine. It should be alright. Go throw the grenade here, so activate for me, please. Thank you very much, love. My darling. You're always by my side. All the glitters in the air, you know, it's it's magical, it's it's who you are. Fuck you, camera. Well, I need to careful because I think there's mines through here now. Bye, doggy. Ah. I don't wanna have to go the long way for that one. Set that off. So calm. No, I don't need that. 
no. Okay, one minute, 12 seconds. 12 minutes, one hour, 12 minutes, 13 seconds for the, uh, for disc one. So let's uh, get the next desk in. time now would you kindly would you kindly thank god for that ah oh, heart stopped thought that was it thought that was the run over ah okay what you're actually um, going to witness is probably the only shot um, in terms of bullets that I'm going to fire in this entire run. And that's just to take out this guy here because he actually causes more of a nuisance than is actually necessary. And this run does depend on how nice this crane is. If this crane is going to be a pain in the ass, then the run could take longer. Oh, you are a very nice crane. You are a very... I like you, crane. Crane, you know what? You can come to my wedding. Okay, what we're going to do here is we've got to get past this guard. Now, we're going to use this technique. Unequip equipping and unequipping the chaff grenade means that we can actually make no noise as we run. And that was actually a pretty good throw. I will admit that was a pretty damn good throw. So we come back. And the elevator at this point will actually have risen to the top. So when we go back in. The elevator will be there. Now we've got to deal with the guard situation. Now, how does every MGS fan deal with the guard situation on this lift? I missed! I missed! The hell! Oh, will you unequip those chaff grenades? I can't believe I screwed this up already. Might as well just choke him out. I've not got a lot of health left. At all. At least that gets us through this part here. So, what I have to remember is to... Uh, I've got very little health right now. Not a lot of health. So, I'm going to be throwing a chaff straight off the bat. I don't have a chaff. This is going to hurt. Ah! Damn it! God damn it. Right. Looks like I'm going to have to actually observe the camera. Okay, he's over that side now. I'm risking it. Ugh, there we go. Champion. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's not good. That was not good at all. Right, okay, so now we're going to get a hell of a lot of codex. So, at the ready. Make yourself comfortable. Relax. You know, take the time. Let's, let's discuss life. How was your kids? Been anywhere nice? I certainly haven't. I've been to Alaska. Actually, not even Alaska, but you know what I'm talking about. Let's punch a crow. Screw you, crow. Yeah. 
Now it's very di very difficult uh, boss fight, Vulcan Raven. Uh, uh, shut up, liquid. Yeah, Vulcan Raven is a very very tough fight. Very tough fight. Considering that it's the uh, first boss that we actually have to fight. He's going to pose a uh, very significant challenge to us. And you can see I've not got a lot of health to uh, do this with, so... We will uh, just have to test our might, test our skill, and not get hit by that great big massive falcon cannon. So uh, let's just do this, shall we? Yes, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's taken all of our skill to defeat Raven. Us. That's actually my fault. Because, um, what I was meant to do there <laughs> was let him come further down a bit before uh, trying to do that. So, yeah, my fault. Oops. <laughs> that was me being too cocky as well. Nice. Well, if uh, uh, the two times that I attempted to use this strategy, I haven't actually failed before, so that's. Failing. Is is yeah, I'm not used to that from this boss. Uh, it's gonna be further back. What? That's strange. I've never known him to take any other path. I've never known him to turn turn there. I, I, I have no idea why that's happened. Considering this is just, just something to set a time, it's... It's not too bad. Could be a hell of a lot better. I don't understand. I reckon I'm too far down, uh, too far up. I need to kind of force him into that. Down. I just wonder if he's positioning. I would love to know if anyone does know how that um, that happens. Why that happens. Anything. <laughs> I kind of realise now uh, what I need to do. But I'm going to have to be faster at it. I might just push this uh, estimate back by like half an hour. Just to compensate for me being an absolute retard.
Okay. Yeah, I think I've got him in the cycle now. I think I've got him in the cycle. That was Raven. Oh my god, why did I fail like four times? suck. I, I kind of realized that they suck. But it shouldn't have taken me that long! God damn it. At least I got some health back. A bright side of life and all that. And now it's starting to go play with the power key, which is uh, it's going to be a power You shut up! I keep on forgetting that these code calls are about to come in. So usually I'm quite prepared with them. Just knock the microphone, because why the hell not? With the old tappity tap. Come on. To be fair, there aren't any glitches anymore. This is just pure speed as of this point. And there is a route you can actually take to uh, get around these cameras. But me, of course, being me, I, I'm going to completely ignore that. Because that's something sensible. And there's Metal Gear. We have Metal Gear in sight in 1 minute 24 seconds. Uh, 1 hour 24 minutes. <laughs> 1 minute 24 seconds would be bloody good. I would be impressed by that. Oh my god. Oscon, get laid. Fine, Naomi. Get laid. The only thing I can imagine is going to take a while for this is depending on how long the power key changes colour and how how liquid's going to be in the fight. The issue the issue that I have with the liquid fight is that um, you can keep up an infinite combo of his punches. I just can't seem to find that rhythm. More than likely, I'll probably just take the headset off and just you know just go for it. Because the actual rhythm of it is out of sync from his shouting. So we'll see how that goes. There's one guard down here. And he's right in the bottom. But we're going to use our equipping thing to uh, try and stay silent. I'm not too worried about the... Uh, the alert because to be completely honest as soon as you uh, go up those stairs it cancels the alert makes it easier for us doesn't it start pressing again fortunately at this point we've actually got the stinger Stinger's now working because we've killed uh, Raven. Can you see the imp? Yes, I can see the imp. Tell the controls into the control room. Shut up. Okay. So where's the guard? There he is. Bye bye. Now if I equip the uh, chaff grenade, I run faster. I will outrun him. So I don't actually have to worry about anything at this point. Win. You know, I always yelled when I was younger. Uh, you know, what? What are actually across these walkways? Turns out, 
that's, there's nothing. Why were they even in the game? Oh my god, there could be. I don't. New weapon. There could be a box. Oh, a new cardboard box. No, absolute sweet FA. So yeah, to be fair, I'm on Metal Gear. One minute, 28 minutes. An hour, 20. I keep saying one minute. Okay. There's two points at which this rat can turn up. It can turn up in the sewers, or it can turn up at the other side. Last time I uh, played, it ended up on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand here. And I have not got any sting arounds. That is not a good situation. Why I know have stinger. Why I know have stinger. Why? Where the hell's the rat? Strange. Usually the rats should spawn and should have actually uh, eaten the uh, pal key. Start head first. Bomb. Great. Oh, is it the point where you're going to tell me that you're going to tell me that the uh, things on there? Yeah, you tell me the rats eating it. Is that what this is? Oh, great. Because I can't kill the rat right now because I haven't got any bloody stinger missiles. Actually, there's some outside. I'll be right back to deal with you. Ah, oh, so much for a speed run. This has just been a catastrophe. Woo! Okay, so if the rat's now eating it, finally, I should pop up. There's the camera. And there's the motherfucking rat. Die. Rat. Eating up all my cards and shit. Okay. Now we get to play. Let's go change the card. Featuring a very pissed off snake who realizes, oh, I gotta go to my cold. That's this place. And I gotta go to the Mac. And I gotta, oh, it's gotta, uh, it's beyond the place I first went to. Just go to that place first. Just. Why at any stage when we were outside did Snake not notice that the Kipal card that he had changed color? We have trekked through ice fields. Why has it not gone blue? You know, they've missed a very important part of the story out there. Just saying. Just saying. And let's do the equip and equip. Bye bye. That one. Is that the wrong one? Yes. It's that one. Oh, 
Oh, I could murder you in your sleep, side snake. They won't even pay me either. Floating along the ground like a trooper. It's from Mr. Ladder. There we go. Okay, so we need to go somewhere that's cold. I tried to do uh, some look around the internet. I wanted to find out, you know, exactly how long it takes for it to get cold. I'm surprised at how little information there is on that. I don't know, one day maybe I should just time it just so we all know. Well, unless there are people that do know and they just keep it to themselves. So as you can see there, went straight past them. Um, I'll take those. I'm going to use this time to collect all the items that are in here. There's a fair few, and frankly, I'm going to need them for when I fight Rex. Except at the minute, I only have four stingers. Oh, and Nikita's not going to help, is it? Thank you. Could I just use that? And a Russian. Okay, so what we're just going to do is we're just going to have to cycle now through the KL keys, try and see if we can get it to change colour. As soon as it changes, we're off. I think it's actually watching the screen now, it's probably easier. shut the door. Sums it up really, doesn't it? To be fair, it should be a lot better if I actually had to stay by stage of um, what checkpoints I pass, but it means having to manually do it. I'd rather have something integrated into the game that I knew certain that is what I got at that point. Just that, very slow. I'm not doing very well my time at all. I'm actually doing pretty damn badly with my time. <sighs> so 
anybody uh, actually attempting to speedrun of any kind? Do you have a certain thing you like to speedrun? Hi. Bye. Okay, snake, the snake. Just listen closely. You know the laptop you went to earlier? You can use that one now. Good girl, good snake, good snake. What a retard. Am I still got the chaff very quick? Oh. Okay, so we should walk off into that section there. Fantastic, and switch the weapon! To be fair, the way we're looking now, I'll probably get left with about, say, 10 minutes to kill Metal Gear. I'll be cutting it bloody fine. Very, very fine. Um, at least now we looked into Rex, we can actually work out his um, attack pattern, exactly what he's going to do at which section. We can avoid 80% uh, probably of the damage in between Stinger rounds. So that won't be an issue. This is one thing. Out of the many. It's probably the stream yet. Yeah, let's get those stingers. Why would you even? So many cameras here, how could you miss me? With the air uh, blast furnace, I'm going to do the uh, similar thing. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to just go around and pick up a load of items that uh, I could possibly use. We're going to be looking out for uh, rations. We're going to be looking out for sting missiles. You know, just to make our lives a little bit easier. Of course, now we're gonna have to sit through codex scenes. That's why I said we've got about, about, about 10 minutes to actually do, you know, the Metal Gear fight, Liquid, and the chase. So, so yeah, there's that. <sighs> Bloody birds. Why are they not bats? I'm the bat. Can't tell by my eyes, they're very dark. Ah, you did call. Snake. Thank you very much. Appreciate the uh, time you spent to uh, make your call, you know, catch up with what's going on these days with you. You know, it's nice to hear about your family, your uh, friends. Not that I give a flying duck, but, you know, it's, 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 it's nice hearing from you. Oh, come on! Seriously? How about you go play in a fire? I just jammed you for the sure hell of it. Because you're a bad person. Try and shoot at me before I can even move. That's bad stuff. I want to make a comment, but I know I'm going to get very a lot of trouble if I make it. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to have to give sit for another code at call. Or not, you know, just casually 
Oh yeah, of course it's on the way down, isn't it? It's on the way down. I should have known that being someone who's played Metal Gear and God knows how many times that it can count. To the point where I feel confident trying to speed run it. Should have known that. Okay. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into the steam room. You know, see all the guys. Chill out after I work out. Don't get burnt. The reason is with uh, there's a few items we can pick up in here. Mainly just sting around. To be frank. We don't want that one. We want the one that's over here. Oh, go sit on one. Now, uh, using the um, wall glitch, you can actually uh, glitch through the walls here. Exactly the same how we did in the... the wolf area. But you just get stuck. It's not particularly helpful in this kind of session. So all we're going to do is we just sit here and we wait. We can see, you know, we've got the stairs come up here. We know where the guard is. He's just chilling out up there. He's not coming down here for the life and money. So we can just cycle through this and be happy. And of course, we've got a good old run back to Metal Gear to do. Honestly, this part of the run's just killed me. Hey, that was actually fairly quick. Holy balls, that was actually fairly quick. All right, so let's get the uh, old card out again. I thought that was going to take at least 30 more seconds, you know, actually time sitting there to actually complete that. Alright, so this is the short one, so I will get a code at Corbett, but it's going to be a very small one. Nope, okay. I just realised I should do that, I just simulate out from the code at itself. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Yeah. Go! Right, other than actually running around now, I've got no other use of the chaff grenades at this point. Because um, with the fight against Metal Gear itself, there's going to be no need to throw the chaffs because we're just going to be hurling stinger missiles straight at that um, sensor. The radar dish, whatever you want to call it. So at this point, we're just, you know, we're just equipping it just for the sake of it being faster to run with. A little fact for you. Because why the hell not? Thank you! Okay, this is the really long one. So, uh... As you can tell from the uh, experience of doing the button bashing, I am proficient with the torture scene, even though I didn't have to do it. Uh, and international track and field. <laughs> but oh my god, am I getting stitched in the back of my hand right now? 
Ah, thank you for the small breast before the next bloody codec. Ah. around far too long today. Just go. God damn it. Okay, so we're just going to take the right one this time. The left we went last time, but he's actually covering this area, so we just stick the right Winchester straight up. Easy. Most of the time when you actually played the game, you would know that anyway. So we stick to the right. Go at an angle, hug that wall, in. Easy. Okay, now we need to climb Metal Gear for the last time. Oh, I suppose, naturally, no, I guess, because you do find liquid on top, I suppose this is the second from last time you climb Metal Gear. Yeah, maybe sometimes I should just stay cool. Onward. It's funny actually, because I said uh, we'd rough about roughly 10 minutes to uh, Fight Rex and uh, Liquid Snake. I'm actually quite impressed I managed to call that one. Shut up! It's no one. You didn't see nothing. Okay, so we've got to this section here. Now we just need to skip more stuff. Ah, uh, thank you, Snake. The detonation code is finally been entered. Colonel, you're too late. Did you like my sunglasses? Can I ask? Ah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Archon. Thanks. Just. Just. Yeah. Thank you. I'll just, like, stand here casually as fuck. I don't understand the whole point of this. Why you would even include that playable section. Why not just presume that Snake went around the corner? You would have thought Snake would just naturally go around the corner. Aha! Trying to do this on a D-pad is actually quite strange when you are used to using a directional thumbstick. How did I miss? Did I mention at some point about missing some of the damage that he does? So I'm not doing very well at that. There we go. Neither 
truly alive, nor truly dead. An undying shadow in the world of night. But soon, soon it will finally end. Thank you. Your brave sacrifice, Grey Fox. I see you too. Oh, lock on, will you? Thank you. Got you. I didn't. I didn't think of a ration. What a moron! To be fair, for some reason, I was in like an extremely bad place there. I just well, now I've got to do some scratch. Are you shitting me? I started in a really bad area, and I was completely thrown off my pan. That's just an excuse, really, in the end, isn't it? See? I told ya, a pattern. And you're used to something. Now, in front of you, I can finally die. After <sighs> that, the keys do it. I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive, nor truly dead. And I'm in a world of light, but soon, soon it will finally end. So I'm probably just going to soak up the damage. I'll just soak up so I'll get the shots off. That's probably the easiest way to do that. Oh my god, I forgot you can't skip this. A snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die as long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough? 
for warriors such as us. I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> uh, no, not really. I watched your it's like, face so... when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't killed seven denied. people. We were created to be that way. Created? Oh, eight and nine in the docks. I've killed nine people. You've probably killed more people than I have. Ah, another codec. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you're sending missiles to, to, to blow up the Shadow of Roses? You, you're bad people. Maybe you should have done that to start off with before this all happened. You sacrificed your daughter and all that stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, hello, soldiers. That's me, you know. You don't look a thing like the boss. Face is a bit thin. Just saying. <laughs> right. You have to excuse me because the uh, if you win, you might still be able to save her. Save so if I can keep the combo, I can get this done really quickly. You could enjoy well, one brief three three moment of the love, but they will be two end. minutes. Sure if you cross this line. Right. You'll fall at this, at this height. height it'll it will kill, kill even you. Right. Have at you, snake. Have at you, snake. Right, let's so get to the corner. Done. It's not a good start, really. Best. Slippery starts to really the, uh, the kick at the end of it. That's when things start to get a bit real because it takes a fair whack of damage off them. The issue is uh, you need to get the kid back to get into a, uh, an area of an invisible wall because as it's you punch liquid, he uh, moves backwards. It's going to blow! Is, um, they didn't care about finishing times or ranks or anything like that. They would die or save it and then load it again, just so the uh, time the time would get fully reset, so you wouldn't have um, the whole bit of the chunk taken at the start of like 30 seconds at the start taken off. That'll be it. There we go. Look at down. Right, so now we've just got the uh, escape today. So about, like, I'm thinking about two minutes, two hours, ten minutes. I keep saying two minutes. I need to sort that out. Hurry! Two hours, eight minutes, ten minutes. That kind of line now at the minute. 
We're not gonna need fashion for this. Right, okay, so this is how we uh, do this section here. Hey, they're not actually gonna shoot him whilst I got him. I got it! Snake, jump in! So I was just gonna run him over. That's a good run. And we get the gun. We just need to worry about We only need to worry about the barrels. And I'll come do the rest. So uh, the two points we're looking for now is 45 degrees. Uh, just on probably about 50 degrees. So as we swing round, we should be able to sweep the first barrel. Of course, everyone shoots the first person on this part. Now, oh, that was a little bit too early. Let's go. So we're only after the barrels. Okay, that we need to turn to just over. Oh, yeah, about that will do. That times as we are, we will sweep round. And we should be this time. We will have to take out the guards, however. It's close. That's it. Now I've got round. Let's do is hot liquid. Okay, um, we're going to work the angles now, so basically, rather than following him, we're going to aim in the other area, so as he drives under the gun, he's going to shoot himself, essentially. See? Okay, now, a bit easier because we just need to highlight over him. You usually get a brief second as he recovers health. Same as last time. Okay, this, you just keep it on him. Time. No. Ah. What happened? Uh, uh, it's no use. I uh, can't uh, move. What happened to Liquid? Fault. I don't know, but I hope he's dead. Liquid's dead. Oh, I see. I'm gonna open the layer. Uh oh. Snake. No. Okay, I did something about right that. It said two hours and 16 minutes. I can't remember exactly what it was there. It was two hours, 16 minutes. If we use the editing, I'll use some editing thing here just to uh, you know, bring that up. So, yeah, so I'll just, just write that in for us.
Completion. Two hours, sixteen. It's a little bit big, he's dead, but that means. There you go. Don't think about it, Snake. That's it done, guys. That's uh. Metal Gear Solid speed run. To be fair, 2 hours 16 minutes is not a bad run. Could have been a lot worse. Hell yeah, of a lot worse. Could have been a hell of a lot better, with all due respect. But considering the amount of times I've died, um, <laughs> how much I screwed up on the uh, the old glitches trying to uh, jump past things, that didn't exactly help my situation either. Unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do at this point, guys, is I'm going to have to uh, turn off the sound because I don't want uh, Twitch to uh, have a little bit of a complaint that uh, I'm using recorded music. So, thank you so much for coming to watch the uh, stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm back on Wednesday. Uh, I'll be streaming Warzone Wednesday, which is probably going to be between Armour, it could be League of Legends, it'll be something. Something for us to enjoy. So, I oh, can hear it in the background, that's not good. Just move that away. So, in response to my old YouTube days, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. See you later. Goodbye.